Hello, I am back today with a fun new product from Uber Chic Beauty. What I'm going to show you today is their mini mat. So let me move the camera a little bit and I'm going to show you. So there's my full big size mat. And you can see that this mat is smaller. This is extremely convenient for making decals if you want to make nail decals. Uber Chic had a number of her bloggers, I was one of them, test out some decals. So she had us make some decals and see how long uh, they lasted. And what I found out in my case was, using Zoya's Cutica Extending Top Coat, I was able to make, uh, this is my last decal, I made a bunch of decals and I've been testing them out every week. And what I found was, uh, these are extremely long lasting. I'm going to try this one on for you in the video, I'm going to put it on, you can see it. I made this six weeks ago and I've been trying one every week uh, and they've been going on just fine. So what I'm trying to say is if you have something like this you can make a whole bunch of these decals at once and you can save them. Uh, you can stick them in your Ziploc bag and store them. What I found is um, it's best to make sure they don't touch. They're not one right on top of the other because otherwise they'll stick together. Um, but you can make them lay them out so they're not stitching together, save them, and these will last you for weeks. So if you want to just boom, 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 make a whole bunch of them, you can do this. Another reason why I think this is a convenient thing to have. So let's just say I just want to make one or two decals. Well, sure, I could do that up in the corner of my mat, and sometimes I do do that. But what if I'm doing some, like, gradient and a whole bunch of stuff, and I've got 12 nail polishes, and I don't, and I don't really want to have to worry about messing up the decal that I have in process over there. Well, I can make my couple of decals over here, set it over the side while I'm working for this. The other thing is, you know, maybe you don't want a really big one like this. Maybe you're not like me. Maybe you don't take up tons of space whenever you do something. And maybe just a smaller mat is really all you need. Okay, one other cool feature of this is there are actually two of these. There are two versions of these. One of these is clear, just like the regular Uber Chic mat. The other one, as you can see, is black. On this one, if I create my decal here and then I stamp on it in black, that's going to be really easy for me, me to see. But what if I stamp on it in white? It's not going to be necessarily as easy for me to see. And especially if I've got maybe like some other kind of lighter colors that I'm working with, maybe that's going to be easier for me to see here. So um, this is for if you're make, doing nail art, it's going to be easier for you to see on a black background. Boom, you've got that there. Or if you want to see more, like if you're using interference polish colors, so colors that change when you put them over darker polishes, and you want to know what your decal is going to look like over your cool uh, dark purple polish, this is going to give you a better sense of how that's going to look once you put it over um, that darker color. So there's a lot of reasons why this might be uh, something convenient that you want to take a look at. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to walk you through how I made my decals, the ones that have lasted six weeks. So if you just have free time while you're watching a movie some Saturday, I found that the Cutica Extending Top Coat works extremely well. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a couple of these. Uh, I try to be reasonably generous with this when I'm coating it. We're going to make a couple on the black mat and we will make a couple on the light mat so you can see the difference. And usually it's going to be dry enough within about a minute. I also love this palette that she has up here. So if you're making decals that you're filling in, kind of like with reverse stamping technique, you can put your different colors here um, and you can keep them separate. And uh, Or, you know, if you want to mix things, you can mix them however you want to do it. So I like that there's these little spaces there. You know, again, you don't need it. Of course, you know, I could do just as well right here if I wanted to. But I think it's kind of cool. I guess the obsessive compulsive in me likes that there's a special place for that. Okay. Okay, so it's been about a minute and these are dry now. So we can go on ahead and move on to the next step, which is uh, putting down our stamped image. Now I'm going to test this out with um, Conad Black and Conad White. Okay, so I've got this stamped, but keep in mind that these aren't just for stamping. I mean, you can do any kind of nail art that you want to do on this. If you can't do freehand on both of your hands, this is a great way to do freehand. You can freehand your decals, and then you just have to apply it to both of your hands. So that's a great way to not have to worry about being able to draw, you know, only on one hand or um, do other kinds of nail art only on one hand. You know, sure, you can see the white flower. Um, but you can see the black better. Obviously the contrast there is better with the black. So if you're working up close and trying to 
um, get in there with the lighter color, uh, that might be a little bit harder to see. So if you're worried about that, um, then maybe you want to use the black. And of course here on the black, I actually did an additional one here for you. Um, you can see that the white is a lot easier to see and work with. The black flower, you almost can't even tell it's there. It's really difficult. But, but now look at what I did with this one. This is an interference polish. So the polish I used for this is Zoya Leia. Even though the polish looks white, it, it shows up as purple on the decal. So that tells me what this is going to look like over the dark polish. So uh, if I'm going to put this over a, a fingernail with dark polish, it's going to show me the, the kind of effect I, I'm going to get. So if you want to do any kind of cool design there with those kinds of polishes that, that change colors like that over the dark colors, um, this is the mat that's going to do that for you. All right, so how do you get these off? There's a couple of ways. I mean, I'm lazy, so I'll just usually take my nail and pull them on up, and that's fine. But if, if you want to be a little bit more careful and not risk ripping them, because that can happen, you can use a little orange stick and go around and push it up that way, or uh, you can gently lift with uh, a pair of tweezers and pull them on up that way. So uh, this is another thing I like about the Cutica is that this comes, it releases from the mat really easily. So you can put it on your nail just like that, or you can trim it down, which is what I would generally recommend. Okay, so I've got my decal over here, and what we're going to do is, I'm just going to put you know, a little bit of top coat here on, just so that your, your decal has something to stick on to. And of course you can do this over other, if you have other nail art, and this is just something you're adding on top of it, like a gradient or whatever, that you're going to do the same thing. Uh, you can put it either stamp side down or stamp side up, depending on what you want, but stamp side down is going to decrease your chances of um, having it uh, smudge at all. And then I just pat the edges down, and then I'm going to just put another little coat of top coat on it, and you can see that the edges there of your decal have now disappeared, and you just got your beautiful design. Yay! All right, so now we're going to do the big test. We're going to pull this guy out that has been waiting six weeks for its reveal. I have my toenails are all covered with these because I made a bunch of them. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to trim it down first. And again, because I made these with uh, a black stamping polish that uh, smudges, I'm going to put it uh, down the polish side, stamp side down on my nail. Um, and you can do it whichever way you want, it just depends. And, and you can see, perfect. That decal's on, it looks great. So yeah, you can use this technique, you can use these mats to make your decals up to, well in this case I did it, I made this six weeks before. Um, it looks like it would definitely last at least another couple of weeks. So you can make these decals up to a month and a half in advance. Um, another great thing is maybe you're going to have your girlfriends over and you want to do all their nails, but you want to sit there and make the decals right then as you are, you know, as you guys are all doing your thing, you want to be able to just do their nails for them. So you want to make like three or four sets of these in advance or something. That's um, another thing that you could do with these mats. So. I love these mats for doing nail art. I think they're great for anybody who does freehand or any other kind of art like that who uh, struggles to do both their dominant and their non-dominant hand. I think they're great for if you're doing um, stamping over darker colors and you want to be able to uh, see what you're doing in a way that you know it is maybe difficult on a different colors, uh, a different color of mats. I think it's also great to be able to do what you're going to do here and then put this over to the side and not worry about it while you're taking care of other things that you're doing, especially if you are making a whole bunch of different decals. And that's another benefit um, of this over uh, the other mat is maybe you're only going to make five or six decals, but you can space them out over this mat because you've got a whole bunch of different um, little fingers here. And that'll give you w more room to work while you're decorating them, while you're going in and doing your reverse stamping technique or whatever it is that you're doing. So having that extra space and those extra fingers on here, I think, uh, can be a big help. All right, so I love these. I think they work really well, and so I definitely recommend these. I will link them down in the description box for you, and thank you for watching.